guys for just not showing up lately but hopefully after the last video you guys know why because it's been rough it's been hectic she's been pregnant she's been on placement she's been living it's been wild but also something that I don't normally go on about you guys know that this is weird for me but like 600 of you where did you come from I was like I got an email the other day from YouTube um saying that like my account was getting closer to a thousand subscribers and that once i get to a thousand like here's some other things that happen and i was like what do you mean i have like 300 and then i went on there and i was like what the f so anyway hi hello welcome for all of those of you that are new here my name is Haley. i am a 31 year old from perth western australia i am a mother to a little two and a half year old boy named arthur i live with my husband jacob and this is our house. And also, I am almost 17 weeks pregnant with another little boy. Now, you can go back through my channel, you can watch all of my videos on nursing and everything else. Um, we had a very traumatic year last year, we actually lost twins. So yeah, this has been huge for us and I still can't believe, I still can't believe that this is happening. Anyway. It's been rough the last few days. I had a rough weekend, but okay, what day is it today? Okay, it's Monday the 22nd of April. It is my last week off before I go back to school next week for semester three of my nursing school diploma. I can't believe it. I feel like I just started. <coughs> that was gross. Anyway, um, so yeah, I have pretty much the whole week off this week. Um, I do have potentially a shift on Thursday and potentially a shift on Saturday afternoon. Um, one of them might be down in Mandra at my uh, disability family. My family that I look after, the child has a disability, I look after Owen. Um, and they might go down there for the long weekend, so I might go down on Thursday and hang out with them for the day. And then they'll be coming up just for the afternoon on Saturday because I think there's a football game on that they're going to. So I'll just watch Owen while they go to that and then I'll come home. So I don't have a whole lot booked in. Today, um, it is 12.45 in the afternoon. So I've just, um, <laughs> okay, I dropped Arthur off at daycare this morning and then I went and sat at the cafe and did just a bunch of life admin. I went through my planner, caught that up to date. I checked in on all my schoolwork just to see how things were traveling. I've still got a few things that haven't been marked yet. I had a couple of things that were not yet satisfactory, but they weren't. They were like, hey, your information's actually correct, but your facilitator forgot to sign this sheet or whatever. And I was just like, that's so annoying because we don't know. Like we give them the stuff and they're like, oh no, this one doesn't need to be signed, blah, blah. So anyway, I've sent that to them with about a big heading saying, please get this signed and back to me ASAP because I start semester three next week. So anyway, other than that, um, I Friday, my nausea came back tenfold. I'd been feeling really good. Um, I, I can't remember how far, I would have been like 13 weeks or something when I posted my video of falling pregnant and all the rest of it. Um, I had a few really good weeks. I've been back in the gym. I'm feeling amazing. My belly is growing. Some days I feel huge. Some days like today I don't feel that big and I still have like a little bit of a B bump section where I'm like swollen and stuff up here because all my organs are moving, but Bubs is still sitting very low. Exactly the same as Arthur did. Um, he's also a week and a half ahead already. So anyway, um, I've been feeling good. And then Friday, it just knocked me for a six. I don't know what happened. I wasn't sick. Like I didn't have the flu or anything like that. I was like, my body was sore. Um, I had like pain. It was like I was having Braxton and Hicks all weekend. I just can't, I don't know how else to explain it. But something gave at like four o'clock on Sunday morning. I was like, if you've ever seen a cat trying to regurgitate a hairball, that was me. It was like I had so much built up gas up here <coughs> that it was finally trying to escape my body. And I was like, bleh, 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 for ages. Like, I just kind of, I just, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. Then after that happened, I was like, oh my gosh, the pain is gone after two days. And I laid back down, slept for another four hours or so. And then I woke up and was like, 
all right, let's get it. I'm good. And my husband was like, you have been dying. So I don't know what happened because then like my stomach and everything was really soft yesterday. Um, but anyway, so we just like, we stayed home for the weekend. Um, we did have Jake's brother and sister's birthday yesterday. They're twins. Um, so we literally went up to his in-law, we went up to the in-laws for breakfast and then we came home. We put Arthur down for a nap and we cleaned this house from top to bottom. Um, just all of the little shitty jobs that we have been avoiding, which is why I haven't really been vlogging. Cause like, I've just been either like working or catching up on spending time with Artie because of placement and stuff. Like I just missed out on so much. Um, I finally went through and emptied my placement bag out. <laughs> Um, anyway, let me show you. Let me take you on a little tour. Okay, so you guys know like my office is behind this area, right? Cue my desk. I bought my old desk home from Jake's parents' house because that was just sitting in Arthur's room where he sleeps. And because obviously I've been kicked out of the nursery, all of my other little bits and pieces like my printer and just little things that I had stored in there in my other spare desk, which I gave away, I can now have all in the one area and all hidden by this beautiful shelf, also say hello to my new plant. Well, he's a few months old now, but I don't know if you've seen him. Um, I cleaned so much stuff off this. I've emptied out all of those bags, so they are all just like empty, ready to go for however I want to carry things to school. Um, let me take you to my bedroom because you guys remember my nursing and midwifery shelf. Well, oh yeah, my sheets are washing today. Um, look, she's in my room now. So this is like where I get to come and like manifest things and like, oh, need a new bad drill. They're all in there and all my little um, fob watches and all my little gadgets, all my books and all of my textbooks. I just have all of my stuff in one place. Um, but yeah, we literally like the house is just so clean. It's just so nice. Mm, what else have I got to show you? Okay, let's go to the back of the house. So... Um, oh yeah, even this, the buffet had like old gym bags in it that we just like used for a bit and then I shoved in there and never used again. So everything's just much more organized, it's so clean, it's so tidy, just nice, you know. Um, okay, so anyway, probably the most important room in the house at the moment, let me show you. The nursery! <laughs> Don't get too excited, it's a bomb. Um, but here's some things that I just keep putting at the door. I found my old baby bag and I loved this bag. This was from Colette. Um, my best friend got it for me when I fell pregnant with Artie. So let's just bring that in here. Okay, so you've got lots to see, okay? There's me, hi. So, do you remember this room was full of those bags? Oh, I need to vacuum that one or I've done it and I've not put the lid on properly. Anyway, so what's happened is all of those clothes you can see in there now were in the washing baskets in Arthur's room where every time I did his washing, I was, you know, like going through his clothes. I'm like, oh, that's a bit too small. That's a bit too small. And I'd normally get a full basket and then I would vacuum seal them. But I ended up with three full baskets. <laughs> so I had like that one, that one. The big washing basket in his room and actually another one so i think i had about four so then in these bags was all of the like newborn clothes baby clothes everything up to about size zero so they have all come out and i have now vacuum sealed away all of his big stuff pretty much from zero um and what do i have here okay so this is all like newborn things um hats beanies bibs burp cloths I think clothes and everything too, because obviously newborn stuff is tiny. Sleep sacks, you name it. And then, uh, look, it's organized chaos, okay? Trust me. So this pile here is triple zeros. So that's like, he's a four zeros baby. My babies are big, okay? If you didn't know, you know now. My babies are big boys. Um, so triple zeros, double zeros, and then I've got the one uh, zeros and ones up there because obviously, yeah, like that's enough for now. So I've got some little things hanging up in there that we bought. There's, oh God, there's lots going on. Look at this beautiful blanket. Oh my gosh, I just almost told you his name. Anyway, this is Bubba's new blanket. Um, oh, little things Artie picks out every time we go to the shops. It's adorable. Like, it's so cute. So he has got some new little bits and pieces because, you know, oh, there's Artie's favorite book. He said, that's for baby. This was from my mum. So cute. Um, the bassinet attachment for my pram came. And then we've gone with like a real like woody rattan sort of theme, right? Because this is Artie's old cot. So I got this beautiful wicker box off Marketplace. And that has got, yeah, blankets and random bits in it at the moment. Um, 
that's Artie's old washing basket. Dana bought us that. I bought these two matching ones from Bunnings. We got this beautiful change table. Look, it is a bit lighter than what I wanted, but I really don't care to be honest. It just kind of matches, you know, all the bits and pieces. But I found all of my old inserts and they fit in there perfectly. And that's the change table on top. So that's that. We've got those little shelves to go up. We've got that beautiful mirror to go up. We got this from our friend. So like she's a bit chaotic. This is a big room though. It probably doesn't let me change that. There you go. So let me go back here. Okay, so this is a big room. So my goal this week is to get these clothes into the drawers, right? Because I mean, if I can, what I'll do is... I'll get all the small stuff into the drawers, but there'll be a bunch of stuff that can just get hung up. So I'll hang that up now that the cupboard is empty. But my thing this week is to like, yeah, get all the clothes off the floor into the drawers. There's just no point washing them yet because Bubs isn't due until September. So get them out the way and then start sorting through all the other bits and pieces. So like that is for donation. There's a pile there that's for my nephew. Why is there wrapping paper in here? I don't know. Find a place for my yoga mat. Then I need to go through like those drawers because they've got like swaddles and cotton buds and all baby stuff. We also got our sterilizer from my stepmom. So that's that. Now this, I don't know if you guys would have seen this, but I bought this for the twins when the twins were going to be a thing because they were girls. I was like, that was my first thing. So like, how cute. I just knew, right? Um, Artie's old little gym. So we've got that out. The bath insert. We've got the brand new pram seat for the second baby. We've still got the play mat. So like this is all stuff that like we're going to reuse. So I just need to like find homes for it. And then under there is the bassinet that we just got. So I'm really excited because it's all kind of coming together. And no, it doesn't look like it right now, but it's coming together. So anyway, that is the messiest room in the house and it can stay like that this week. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, I need to put my sheets in the wash in the dryer so yeah like that's literally just the house is sorted other than the baby's room i keep going to say his name um we have named the baby we had a couple of names but we just had one that we just can't keep away from we have taught arthur so Artie knows his name he refers to him by his name he does sometimes just say baby brother but he'll go oh i'm gonna put this in blah blah blah's room so anyway um yeah, it is a, another typical five letter, two syllable name. We've all gone with the same similar things. I mean, Arthur is still two syllables, but we call him Artie. So we've gone for something similar. Um, and a lot of people think they know what it is because they thought we were going to use our other old boy's name that we had from last time. But that's not the case at all. So anyway, this laundry was chock-a-block. Like when I tell you, I had about four of these baskets full to the brim i've got this just came out of the dryer this morning so i've got to fold those two today i've got some of Artie's clothes to put away but like i feel decluttered now right because i was just so off for a couple of weeks that like i would wash chuck them in the baskets wash chuck them in the baskets then jake would come in at four o'clock in the morning digging through for his work clothes and then i'd come in in the morning to get something and there's crap everywhere so like you can see the floor now that's dirty and we've just, it's been a massive breath of fresh air this weekend. Like Jake has just been a godsend. He was like, we're just going to get it done. So anyway, my only jobs for today was, as I was told strictly, to do nothing. No, I said, I just want to wash our sheets because I have had like the prego sweats so bad. Um, like I just keep waking up hot and sweaty. So, you know, it's getting a lot cooler at night, but your girl's still here using the freaking aircon. Okay, so one of my pillowcases must be wrapped up. Uh, yep, yeah, in there somewhere. Okay. I always put my doona in first because it's like so thick and it takes like two cycles in the dryer. Even on like extra hot. Okay, so that's that. That can go in the dryer next. Actually, no, I won't put it on on. I'll just wait till the boys get home and see. Because Artie will have dirty daycare clothes and stuff. Okay, so that's that. So I can fold that washing later. Um, but anyway, so like everything's just 
you know, I even went through the linen cupboard. Like, I'm sure you guys, you know, bore me with the details, spare me the details, but like, we have all these beautiful tubs. So like, all these shoes needed to be organized and I threw some out and these are all the ones I'm keeping. And then all these tubs actually have in them what they say they have in them now. So like, there's literally just nothing for me to do this week, but relax. What a, what a bad thing. So anyway, I thought what a good week to come back into it, make a vlog. You can just hang out with me um, and we'll just see what we get up to. I've got some rice in the rice cooker because I want to make fried rice for dinner tonight. So I was like, how can I cheat and make like second day old rice? So I was like, let's cook it now. When it's finished, I'll just take it out, sit it on the bench, let it get to room temp and then chuck it in the fridge. Need a drink. But yeah, so anyway, I sat at the cafe this morning, got all my stuff done. I've applied for a bunch of government jobs. Um, I keep seeing and being told that like we need to start applying for grad programs for next year already. But like, I can't find anything. Every time I go into it to do it, it keeps saying it's only applications for the 2024 to 2025 season. So... Uh, these are the adapters for our capsule to go on our crown as well. So they finally arrived. I did order them with the bassinet, but they didn't come with that. They were on pre-order. So that's that. So literally, like, as far as stuff for the baby goes as well, I've been getting so many things off Marketplace. Um, we've, like, sold a lot of stuff, and then, like, I've bought things with that money. So, like, we haven't even really spent a whole lot. The biggest expense so far was the bassinet and even secondhand. That was $250, but we just wanted a very specific one. It's not a snoo. Um, Tutti, cozy, bedside sleeper, but with wheels situation. Um, it's a big bassinet. We're big babies. We did not want to make the same mistake as last time. So we've learned this time. So anyway, um, another job to add to the list for this week. Clean my phone out because my phone just went off because my storage is full. So anyway, I'm going to have some lunch now. I just have some... As I was trying to say multiple times before I got cut off because my phone storage is full, uh, that's another job that I can do this week is finally sort out my phone because it is the full. So I need to like make folders and get stuff off there. Anyway, I've got some chips and gravy for lunch, some jam donuts for later. Today's just one of those days. I'm like, I'm chill. I've got nothing to do. I'm going to treat myself. So anyway, um, I have my hospital appointment tomorrow. I'm meeting my student midwife. So we've got lots of fun things to do this week. So anyway, can't wait to hang out with you again. I'll see you in soon. Hello everybody. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Alright, let's not bang drawers. What are we doing? Um mm, packing. Who's, whose room are we in? Uh, <laughs> You're so <laughs> cheeky. Good thing mummy knows how to edit. Um but he's right, we are cutting. What are we cutting? Uh, We're cutting some rubber mat. Because we are now putting the clothes in Bubba's drawers. Hey, Adi. Should we show, show them the tiny clothes? No, you can't get in there, remember? Look, should we show them? Who did this used to be? Who used to wear this one? Um, Adi! This used to be yours. Yeah. So tiny. In there. In there. Yeah, put it in the drawers. Good boy. So, yeah, we finally made it into the baby's Hi. room. And Adi is trying to help me. Cars, cars. Cars. You want to show the camera? <laughs> cars. Do you remember wearing that? I don't think so. You were tiny. Lady beetles. Lady beetles? Yeah. They look like lady beetles, don't they? Red car. Red car. Where? Red car. Red cars. Good job. And so one. we've really made this into an exercise where we really get Artie involved, and I don't mind him being in here, even though sometimes it creates more mess than anything. But you know we want to make sure that when bub gets here you know Artie understands that like he's known about it the whole time um and you know that it's something exciting something we've all been working towards um at the moment he loves doing this whose bed used, did that used to be yeah did you used to sleep in there yes. yeah so he gets to come in for small spurts and small spurts that's right <laughs> And we go through the clothes and we look at things and we remember. Not that Artie remembers much, but anyway. So I'm just organizing yeah, all the baby stuff we need. And then as I go through these baskets, anything that I'm like doesn't need to be in these drawers, like this cute little outfit. This was actually Artie's one month old outfit with his little teddy bear we took photos with. 
So hopefully my dad sticks to the same thing because he buys the kids all this like giant two meter teddy and we take all their milestone photos. So things like swaddles and whatnot, I'll keep like the ones I know I'm gonna use from baby baby in the drawers and the rest of these will get hung up until I need them. Although to be fair, like I didn't know that you could like wrap them in their swaddle and then put them in one of these when Artie was a newborn. Like we just had these from, I think these were like three months and up, but you can get like, these are tiny baby ones. Oh, thank you so much. Did you hear me say hang that up? Anyway. Oh. No, leave them, leave them, leave them. So, yeah, you've got to move quick. Otherwise, um, everything ends up being pulled out. Nice Whilst we're playing. Nice yeah. Okay, excuse me. I'm working in here. Okay. Can you go and get something out of the toy room? Thank you. Nice. So, yeah, it's all about, like, not making him feel like he can't be in here as much as it is annoying sometimes, but he's in here sporadically with me and then he gets bored and goes off anyway. Um, but yeah, so keeping everything in these drawers that we need, like, look, I've got all of these that I use as swaddles because they're nice tight jersey blankets. They were just so much easier, but now I know I can just wrap a zip up swaddle around them to keep him in there, which would have been helpful last time, but didn't know that. So yeah, I've kept all of those and they were all like $5 came up once and they were our favorite you know, saves buying a $40 snuggle honey one or something, which are beautiful for announcements, but they're so big and they're just like, it's so hard to use them all the time. A baby car. So anyway, I'm going to log it off here and I'll just time-lapse some stuff. But um, yeah, enjoy us doing some things. into these drawers. One, two, three. And then I got all of this stuff hung up. But I feel like I didn't really make a dent. Well, I, I don't know, I did, but I didn't. <laughs> so anyway, time for dinner and showers and bed. Good morning. Oh, happy Tuesday. <laughs> Um, it is 7.35 a.m. I woke up like 10 minutes before my alarm. Now, my plan is to leave the house at 8.30 this morning. So we're going to the hospital and all the rest of it. We've got to pick my mum up halfway um, and then, you know, do all that. So, Artie is awake. I can hear him. So I've just got a Milo. I'm making him a Milo. I'm just going to go give him that and hope that that will tie him over because he's like, breakfast straight away. But I'm going to go in my room get us dressed and ready first and then we can just eat our breakfast and then get in the car and mosey on breakfast i feel like takes the longest so i'd rather be dressed and ready so that's what we're gonna do his favorite balloony cup oh shit oh is it i think i need to change the batteries yeah because this is normally like raining. But that's okay. That'll do. Bed. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Look at I got for you. I did that. Hey. I did that. Yeah. Did you have a good sleep? Vomit. 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 You vomited. Yeah. Mm. No, you didn't. <coughs> You're cheeky. <coughs> I made you a Milo. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Where are we going today? No. Uh, We're gonna see Nettie. Did I have Mummy get a morning kiss? 
Oh, thank you. Good morning, mummy. Is that yummy, Milo? Is it delicious? Yeah. Mummy's Milo. Mummy's Milo. All right, so the plan for the morning, we're going to go and get dressed first. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to have breakfast and get in the car and go get nanny. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, we're dressed. It's the fit of the day. I don't, I should have bought my tripod in here. I'm sorry. Um, I just have this like one size fits all bodysuit from Best and Less. It's really see through if you stretch it. Um, and this maternity skirt that I got from Target. It's like ribbed. Super cute. And then I've just gone for my little corduroy throw over. And I think I've got corduroy pants out for Artie. I'm here he's watching Bluey in the background. Do you want to say good morning? Good morning, everybody. Oh, shit. Oh, hang on. Just let mommy quickly finish this. And then what do you want to have for breakfast? Crispex. Crispex. Okay. That sounds doable. All right. <laughs> Watch Bucky. If you haven't watched the Bluey episode called The Sign yet, you need to. Anyway, Artie's obsessed with it. Especially since we found an ad for Bluey's house on realestate.com. Um, obviously, it's fake. But they have Bucky's number on there, who's the agent, and you can actually ring it. And it goes to his voicemail, and it's super cute. So every night before bed, Artie asks, can we ring Bucky? Except sometimes I forget what he's asking and it sounds like he's swearing. Okay, that's the hair. What are we doing for the face? Hmm. Okay, I've been using some new products too. Um, the Bod Society sent me their new kit. And if you don't know, the Bod Society is from Perth. She makes all of her own products here. They're beautiful. They're all in like eco-friendly packaging. Um, but the products are just amazing. Um, I am obsessed. Let's, I don't know, like, look at my skin. I just, it's been delicious. This is literally my daily at the moment. So we've got, this is their fruity AHA BHA toner. So I literally start with that. I don't just you guys know like I just don't like smelly stuff. More what? More what? Bucky. Yeah, well you have to keep watching. You see Bucky again. So anyway, I use this morning and night. I just really think it's really helped with like the complexion of my skin too. Like my skin texture feels so much nicer. What do you want? I want to Sure. You can put it on your face. Um, and then I've got two elixirs. This one is the glow one. The other one is called Revive, which has got bioretinol in it, which is pregnancy safe. They're all pregnancy safe. So anyway, I, you can use them both together. I like to use this one in the morning. It just sits so nice on my skin. It just makes me feel a bit glowy during the day. Does it smell yummy? Artie? Does it smell nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one's called Glow and Renew. Um, fused with natural source of plant derived vitamin A found in Bakuchu oil. Oh, this is the bioretinol one, which is probably why I love it so much. But you can use it daily. Um, it's got rosehip, argan, shea, jojoba oils. So it helps like restore the barrier, fight signs of aging, retains moisture and improves skin texture. That's the other one. The other one is Revive. So this is the calm healing and natural anti-aging. So this is hyaluronic acid. So I probably should swap them around. Oh, it doesn't really matter. And you can use them both at the same time too. Okay. What are you saying? Take your dummy out. Take your dummy out so I can hear you. <laughs> Oh, revive. <laughs> You're so funny. 
Artie's been copying me a lot lately, so I've been very careful. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I go Fruity Toner first, and then one of the elixirs, and then I'm still using, um, so there is a moisturizer, but it's a nighttime one, which I think you could probably use during the day too, but I keep that for at night. So I'm still using my Lux face cream from GoTo, and I've actually been putting my glow drops into this. Only because I'm running out of my um, ultraviolet sunscreen. So I've been using my quick screen spray. So I'm like, I just put my glow drops in here. Not every day, but on the days where I'm like, I want to feel a bit, you know, human. Beautiful. Um, and so I just let that dry in for a second. So we've gone that, that. That with that. Oh, that and then i just have a little travel size one because i'm also low on this too i just need to go and get some stuff but it's the three in one spf so hydrating mist and setting spray um you have to like tuck your lips close your eyes but yeah you can use it as a primer too which is nice so i just sort of like let that dry in for a second and then Hold my breath. That's it. That is, I'll show you clearer. That is my little daily. That's all I've been doing. And this is the end look. Obviously, if I'm like going out or like, you know, to like a family thing or we're going to take photos or whatever, then I would put mascara on and brush my lashes. But CBF, I uh, don't really feel like I need to do that today. But we do have our family photo shoot coming up at the end of May. So I obviously at some stage will go and get my eyebrows done for that. And I will do a nice, like, peachy, dewy, blushy makeup, which is what I would normally do anyway. But yeah, that's it. So now we're going to go get Artie dressed and then have breakfast. Oh, and of course, because I'm not a stinky dog. Bye. Deodorant. Bye, bye. I just, like, obviously showered and got myself dressed and stuff off camera because nobody needs to see that. Okay, ready? And I'm still on the Sol de Janeiro train. All right, is it your time to get ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's get dressed. Show us your outfit. Yeah. Show us the fit of the day. Woohoo! It's a boy. His pants are like short shorts on him now because he just is getting too big. Here you go. Milo. All right, let's go and have a quick breakfast. Oh, no. That's okay. Let's go. Come on, Maxie. He's literally my little shadow. Okay, I found my tripod. Okay, so Arnie wants crispex. Crispex! With what milk? Almond um, milk. Almond milk. Oh, yeah. Arnie likes to eat them raw like mummy. Okay, there we go. Yummy! Actually, mummy might just have a little bowl of these too. I was gonna have like baked beans on toast, but it's 8.05 or if I eat the same thing. And I've been having Sultana bread. Whoop. Yeah. Cheeky monkey. I've been having Sultana bread. Because what I've found being like gastric sleepy is I'm starving in the mornings, but I can't go and eat like toast with baked beans or something rather straight up. Like I just, I'm starving, but my belly just won't, like I'm just, I can't get it in. So I have like a little bowl of cereal and then, you know, take Artie to school or do whatever we have to do. And then I have like a second breakfast. All right, go to the table. Yeah. No, because we have to go out this morning. Uh, yeah, we're going to go see Nanny. Uh, so I'll have some cereal and a little bit of juice so I can uh, take my tablet. Uh, yeah, we'll have your breakfast first. All right, let's go to the table. Okay, we're going to eat and we'll see you when we're ready to go. From the hospital we had a great morning didn't we we got to meet linda yeah. linda is our student midwife she was amazing did you like linda yeah 
you had lots of cuddles, didn't you? And we've set up the spare mattress, the blow up mattress in the lounge room and we're having a little slumber party. I'm just gonna put a movie on and chill out because Artie's at the point where he doesn't really like having naps now and he actually goes to bed better without it. So he's tired, so we're just gonna chill if he falls asleep. You don't want that one? Well, you go get your own blanket then. Yeah, no, no, wait. This is what we're up to is the whole like, I don't like that one. I'm like, well, pick your own. No, no, that one. Hello. Okay. It's 5.45 p.m. Artie and I had a very chilled afternoon on our blow up mattress fort. Um, he didn't nap, which was fine. That was kind of the intention today. We're trying to see how he goes without having his nap, but having quiet time because he's not been sleeping at daycare. But I have been cooked today. Like, look at my eyes, right? I just, my eyes are like sore and just, they feel tired. But I had a really big sleep last night, so I don't think it's that. But I think I know what it is. My medication that I'm on, I cannot stop taking it abruptly, which obviously means when there's the odd chance here and there that I forget to take it, and then I take it when I remember and wake up the next day, sometimes it's then been like 48 hours between taking it. So then my body like dips and comes back up over like the 24 hour period. So I think that's why I've been so cooked today because even this morning when I was out with my mum, like by the time we finished up around lunchtime, I was like ready to just come home and just call it for the day. So um, yeah, anyway, we've just had a nice hot shower. It's cold today in Perth, which is nice. Arthur has requested oatmeal for dinner and I'm not gonna fight that because he'll have a nice big bowl of it and he'll sleep well, so going to make that for him now. Jake and I have got leftover fried rice and we've got some beef brisket we're going to put in the oven. So I think that'll be nice together. Mm. Um, but anyway, tomorrow morning I will take Artie up for morning tea at Nonna's and he normally goes and sees all the aunties and has morning tea. So it's nice when I'm on holidays to get to go and catch up with them. So I'll go for morning tea tomorrow morning and then I will leave him for the day with Norna because I've got to go to school. They have the ANMAC order and I'm one of the students being interviewed. So I don't know what that means, what that entails. Um, I just asked to, got asked to be there at three. So I will go and see what that's about. Should only take an hour or so and then reconvene life from there. But anyway, so I hope you've all had an amazing day and um, it's the ANZAC day long weekend this weekend so that's nice jake's got a week off i don't know if i said that well not a week he's taking from thursday till tuesday off feels like a week <laughs> so anyway we've got a few bits and pieces to do and yeah go from there so anyway hope you had a marvelous tuesday oh you can't even see you because you're too short good morning <laughs> say <laughs> good morning <laughs> all right so it is wednesday morning we have actually already had breakfast and Artie is dressed and ready to go. Where are we going? Nona's house. Nona's house. And what are we going to do? What are we having? Banana bread. Banana bread. So on Wednesday mornings, for literally since Artie was like, I don't even know how old now, how long they've been doing it. But um, Artie's Nona and all of her, like the, a lot of the aunties and stuff all live up the hill. So everyone, oh. Thank you so much. He knows my routine, see? Um, so, no, just one. That's okay. Thank you. I only need one. I want one. I don't want one. You've already got a nappy on, bro. You don't need one. Um, so anyway, they have this thing where every Wednesday morning, no one is working. So they all go for morning tea and they get to catch up with Artie. And it's really cute. They just go to the local dome. And they all have morning tea and Artie has banana bread and a chino. And yeah, I've literally only been once because obviously Wednesdays I'm normally at school and Artie is at Nonna's house, which is how they started this thing. So yeah, I went to up once when I was on school holidays and then today I get to go again, but Artie will actually be staying at Nonna's for the day because my school is being Anne Mac audited today and they've asked me to go in and be interviewed. So. Um, nothing like scary or crazy or anything like that. I'm assuming, yeah, they'll just interview me based on the process of me going to school, making sure that like 
my attendance is up or my stuff's done. I actually have no idea what to expect, but anyway, I said I would go in and, you know, do it. So um, that's okay, mommy will open it when she's ready. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so we're going up there. I think it's like almost nine o'clock, so we need to leave in a minute. Put it back, please. Why are you playing with my panty liners today? Um, he just likes peeling them open. But yeah, so going up there to do that, Adi will stay. I might be meeting Alicia, my other pregnant nursing bestie, um, at Baby Bunting in Midland because it's on my way home. Um, she's also very due to have a baby soon, maybe in like six to eight weeks. So I said I would meet her and help her. Like she's got to pick a few things out. So that's it. And then I'm going to come home and chill for a bit, have some lunch, have a rest. No, 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 no. Come on, out of daddy's cupboard, please. Come on, let's close it. Okay, take your dummy for the support. But yeah, so anyway, um, Alicia's husband has been overseas for a couple of weeks and he's due back soon and then they're going to go and buy all their nursery stuff and get sorted. So um, yeah, I need to pick out a few bits and pieces for myself, like have a look at some things so that I can research. So we might go and do that today and then I'll come home, have lunch, chill out and then go into the city. So yeah, also need to do groceries. So I've done click and collect. Pick that up tomorrow. Good job. Two crocs. Are right, you going to sit down here and I'll put them on? Up there with your bottom. So that's it. So I just have to get dressed and then we're going to leave. So I don't know at what point I'll see you today, but we'll see ya. Adi, say bye. Bye. Okie dokie. You're a bit crooked because you're on my steering wheel. That's okay. Also, funny story about this little orange guy because a couple of people have been like, what's the orange thing? I think it's a cow. I'm gonna go with the cow, but that has been in my car literally since Artie was a newborn. And it's just gonna stay there. He loves it, he like yanks on it sometimes. Um, anyway, so it is 10.20 in the morning, obviously. Why did I say that? Why did I have to justify that I'm out in the morning? Anywho, um, so I've just finished morning tea with Artie's um nonna well my mother-in-law and all the aunties and uncles and it's so cute it's just so nice seeing all that the little things he has with them like it's adorable so i'm going to head down to midland i'm going to meet alicia at baby bunting and um i'm going to go to office works as well because i was like back to school um i might need like a couple of new notebooks i don't really need any pens or anything like that but anyway, who can go wrong with an office works trip? So let's do that. We'll go to office works and then we'll go to baby bunting and then we'll go home and chill. I don't even know what I need. So I'm gonna go with a divided one again, rather than individuals like last semester, because I only have seven units left and they're smaller ones. So I think this will be okay. But do I want blue with those pastel colors? Yeah, I think I do. I don't know if I ever mentioned about the fact that my $200 Logitech mouse was probably like $170. Um, I left it at school and no one ever handed it in. And it was the day that I left early in class and everyone else was still there. So I don't know what happened. But anyway, there's a chance I could go to school today and potentially it's been handed in and I might find it. But I don't have very high hopes. So anyway, I've just bought myself the Logitech $29 that one that matches my pebble keyboard and it's bluetooth i made sure of that because i've bought two more since then and they're both usb which doesn't work for my ipad okay so i had ten dollars of flybys credits on my card and she's like did you want to use that today and i was like you can do that here she's like yeah so i basically got my notebook for free and got five bucks off my mouse girl mass that's a bargain tell me there's something better in life than fresh hot macca's chips oh wait Cause that's not. Okay, so it is um, later that afternoon. <laughs> no, it's like 1.40 p.m. I obviously need to leave soon to go to school for my ANMAC interview. I still don't even know what I'm like, I don't even know what they're gonna ask or what they're gonna know. So I've like messaged my principal and was like, hey, just so you know, um, my attendance level is only 75% on the hub, but I've only ever missed two days of my whole like diploma. So. Maybe you want to fix that before I get interviewed because I think like the whole point of the audit is to make sure that like 
the students are, you know, like have attended, they've done their units, they've been marked, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, if they go and check that, then they're going to be like, um, how are you still even studying? You are under the threshold. So yeah, that's fine. So I'm trying to decide what do I wear? Like I'm going in for an interview on behalf of my school. Why does it look like it's not focused? So I should probably wear at least scrubs and maybe my school top, but I don't know if it still fits. So let's try and see. My NNT maternity scrub pants because obviously you know mat things okay so these are my nnt maternity pants they're not actually even maternity pants these are just the standard ones but they just sent them to me in a bigger size because they know that i'm pregnant and i said i've got a little bit of an issue going on <laughs> so i'm not wearing a bra so i might just leave no let me tuck this in when i say i'm not wearing a bra i mean isn't like because this is a shelved singlet so it's got a built-in and when you're pregnant, you just like comfort, right? Okay, cute. We love nursing school shirt. <laughs> I never even wear this on the best of days, but you know what? It's probably the only blue that I've got that actually fits because all my scrub labs and everything are too small. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, she's tight. <laughs> okay, that's adorable though. How funny, I can't wait to take my back to school, sorry, that's really annoying, my back to school photos next week on Wednesday, like for my last semester, and I'm gonna be like, ta-da! Like that's adorable, is it not? So I'm just obviously gonna wear my ID because I'm going onto campus. Um, that's adorable, I just can't even, are you joking me? So yeah, anyway, like I said, I'll fill you guys in after it so you know what I know, which is God knows what. But I was like, I'm not wearing makeup or anything. I don't do that on the best of days. Let's fix up whatever this is that's going on. Oh, I have a jaw clip in the car. Maybe I'll just put that on once I get there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that's it. That's the fit. I'm going to head to school. I'm really excited because I'm pretty sure my lecturer is on campus today. So... I should get to see her. Okay, let's go to school. Good morning. Happy Anzac Day, lest we forget. Ah, 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 I said no. So it is Thursday morning. I ended up getting a shift at 8 a.m. this morning. So I just did like 6.30 to almost 10. So I've just gotten home. It's almost half past 10. Um, I called Jake and was like, I would like some bacon. Please put some in the, in the air fryer. Um, so he's just gone to get himself organized. I'm gonna get dressed, get changed. I just packed a little snack box and some water bottles. We are going on a bit of a drive today, going down to my friend's house, which is about an hour away, to pick up some big IKEA pigeonhole shelves um, that are going in our toy room. So we figured it's a nice long weekend. Jake's taken until Tuesday off work, which is amazing for us. And I was like, let's just get a bunch of stuff done. And I've got half of Ollie's meds down the front of my shirt. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I did not get to vlog last night, the rest of yesterday, because it just was hectic. Also, ah, if you don't like your bacon cremated, ah, we can't be friends. Ah, ah, ah. You told daddy, hurry up. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Went to school yesterday for the ANMAC um, audit. There was five or six students out of the whole school. Went for an hour or so. It was great, it wasn't what I expected, but it was, Good. Oh, like it was what I expected, but I kind of also wasn't really sure what to expect. But anyway, I got out of there by 4.30. Then I had to, excuse me, no. Then I had to go and pick Arthur up, then get all the way back home, then go and see our besties because they moved down south this weekend. Um, and the kids are leaving today. Parents are coming back up to move for the weekend and then going back down. So went and said bye to the kids, cut some hair and yeah, we got home late last night. Jake and I had Nando's for dinner and yeah, went to sleep because we had work this morning. Really leave in the next like 20 minutes. Go on our little road trip. Okay, enjoy the day with us. Whatever I remember to vlog.
You fall down. Ah. <laughs> Just face <basically. laughs> Come again. Good morning. Happy Friday. You can't be happy. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them. No, you can't I'm gonna tell them what you did. No. I have a special guest today. But I was just mad at him because we finished at the gym. I had to go and get blood tests, just an iron study to check how everything's going. And um, Jake had one job, go to the coffee shop, order our cappuccinos, and um, I'll meet you back outside. And I get a message saying, I think I stuffed up your order. I don't know what happened. Then I see that like $17 came out of our bank. And I was like, that's expensive for coffee. And then I walk out and he's got these two giant cups. And he's like, I think yours is an iced latte something or other. And I was like, I just wanted a hot almond cappuccino like I've got for the last six years of our relationship. He's like, there was five people behind us. I was under pressure. So now I'm going to make him write lines that just says, arm and cap, arm and cap, arm and cap. Anyway, how do you feel not being at work today? Good. You're really enjoying that. What did you get? Chocolate ice cream. I would have preferred that than this. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm being grateful because my husband went and got me coffee. Um, but he, we've been to the gym. We took Artie to daycare. And we're running errands today. We're doing grocery shopping. Are you excited? Because he thinks that we have special fairies that do all this stuff for us. So anyway, let's go shopping. Oh, you gave me the heavy one. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Oh, it's so heavy. I'm going to do a video on this right now. Ah, you are too. <laughs> Door. Oh, you gave me the heavy one. Excuse me, you realise I normally do all of this by myself. So I'm claiming the princess energy because I have a help today. Yeah. Bubba is really popping today. 17 weeks today. We are. 17 weeks! I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Anyway, we survived grocery shopping. We didn't kill each other. We got a little yogurt snack. Oh, how's the lighting? Also, you know what's going on here? This is called stress. Nah, I'm not even stressed out this week. <laughs> Are you going for a poo? Yeah. He knows, don't touch my shopping. So anyway, I'm gonna start unpacking. We'll divulge the week. And um, we haven't done this for a while. Remember I used to start my vlogs on a Thursday when we would go grocery shopping? But I don't do that anymore. Today's also Friday, but like, Normally it used to be Thursdays, but because I'm at school. So anyway, um, now let me break down what we did this week. So we spent two, about $350. However, we were very lucky. We got a $100 Coles Mikey voucher this week. So what I did was, because we do most of our groceries at Woolies, we get some meat from Audi um, sometimes. And... Coles is kind of getting a bit better with the things that we like. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not like biased, but we just, Coles is, uh, Woolies is right near us and it's where Artie goes to school. So it's just easier. So what we did was initially I had my cart ready. It was like 350 something dollars um, for Woolies. And then when Jay gets paid, I obviously go in, order it, and then we pick it up whenever we pick it up. However, it must have been meant to be because that particular day before Anzac Day, Jake's pay went in really late after I had my interview at school and obviously they aren't allowed to pay us because we don't we aren't employed by IHNA and we did it um you know out of the goodness of our own heart but they did give us a little thank you gift and we got a Coles Meyer voucher which I thought was really great because we do a lot of work for free you know so it's nice but so what I did was I then went on to Coles had a look at, you know, like some of the things I would get from Woolies and was like, oh, if this is on special there. So like oil, normally we just buy a one litre from Woolies for $8. This was on special for $13 for three litres of the same oil we use. So I was like, perfect, get that. Um, we got nappies from Coles. 
juice, cereal, cereal boxes were on special for half price, so $3.50. So we just, like, I just took some stuff out of the car up to $100. And then I got a couple of extra things that I found at Coles and we were there, I spent $20 more. But in total, because some things changed at Woolies, I got refunded for some things. I had to pick some other things. That came down to about $2.25 and then we spent $1.25 at Coles. So anyway, I'm gonna time lapse, unpack it all, and then show you as a household of two and a half, I'm gonna say three, three full people because I am obviously eating for two. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna unpack everything and then I'm gonna show you what we got as a family of two adults and a child, but as a pregnant woman um, living in Perth, Western Australia, spending $350 every second week and then about a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars in between so we spend about five hundred dollars give or take yeah a fortnight me trying to quick math no so this was a really big shop but normally yeah it's like 250 ish if we have to get nappies and stuff like obviously that's a bit more but we don't budget that in like groceries so that's like out of like baby stuff but anyway, roughly in a month, we might spend $800 to $1,000. And that's because we basically cook and eat everything. We don't really buy like food out a whole lot. So anyway, let's unpack it and we'll go from there. sometimes like things just end up in your groceries and you're like how did that get there i would not have ordered like for example one rogue kiwi fruit i wanted kiwi fruit and i'm pretty sure they were like five for four dollars or something but i have one rogue kiwi fruit so i just went back and checked and it literally said that i ordered one so anyway i don't know what happened there but i guess it's a good way to be able to like test how they are for the season and then i can buy some more <laughs> So anyway, let me walk you through. Also realized as I was unpacking, I think I know why we spent a little bit more this time because we got things like laundry liquid. Um, we got the big bottle of oil and um, we got nappies and wipes and toilet paper and some cleaning things. But also we got like more cereals, more snacks because I go back to school next week as well. So that was my thought process on that. Um, plus I'd run out of a lot of baking things and I want to make like some Anzac biscuits um, and like a chocolate cake and things like that. So that's why. But anyway. Let's go. So starting down the business end, obviously Artie is still in nappies. Not as many as he used to be, but he's still in nappies. So nappies for him, I don't, I'm not fussed whether it's Huggies or Baby Love, it's whatever's on special. These were exactly the same price as Baby Love, but we got four extra nappies. So girl mass, we got four for free. Um, we use this toilet paper, it's the extra long one. Some scarers, baby wipes. That's the laundry liquid and softener that we use we have since before Adi was born and we keep using it then I also have some of that like um nappy sand powder stuff for washing Jake's clothes it actually washes our clothes really nicely our gym clothes Jake's work clothes my scrubs nothing smells I also have Dettol that I'll add to my scrubs as well and it all mixes really well um again that's the oil we've got some sugar-free fizzy because that's what I kind of vibe at the moment we use these instead of um like cloths in the sink so don't mind the dishes that's Jake's job uh, pasta, all the protein pasta was on special. We use this instead of normal pasta most of the time. Um, obviously any extra protein for me is good, but that's what we would always go for. If it's not on special, we would still buy it if we needed it, but if we, we still eat normal pasta as well, but they're all on sale for $2. So we haven't had the spaghetti from this one yet. And I got some pesto so I can make pesto pasta. So stocking up on baking things, we got cocoa powder. Again, I'm not brand biased, like I got Woolies brand stuff here. They just swapped that because they didn't have the one in stock I wanted. Some chalk chips for our cake or muffins. Um, some vanilla essence. These, this is the first time I've had the dark chocolate version. I normally just get the blue packet, but they were on like sale or clearance for like $2. So got those, my favorite. Um, cough lollies because I still have this chronic dry cough at night since I had tonsillitis from my aged care placement back in September. So these are just a must have for me. Um, I didn't order those. I ordered the new like log version fancy things that Woolies brought out and they obviously didn't have them in stock yet. So they replaced them with those. Not mad though. Um, yeah, pesto gravy. That's the one we use. These were all half price from Coles. So we got two LCMs. 
um, yogurt strawberry flavored ones of those because I like those. And I got these for Artie because they're a little bit less sugar. Actually, let's compare because he loved these last time I got the big box of them. Sugars, 18.5 per 100. So when you're buying things, you always want to look at this column that's per 100 grams, not the per serve. And you want to try and buy things that are, when you're buying for kids, like way less than 15 grams per 100. I try and focus on anything between 6 and 10. Um, except for when it comes to stuff like this, because we don't eat it all the time. And it's like one bar here and there. And for me right now, the extra calories are okay. But he liked those. So I was like, okay, well, I found these. They're on special as well. They're new. So I was like, let's give them a try. Um, and I'm pretty sure I already checked. Yeah, 13.3 grams of sugar per 100. So I was like, that's a nice little treat for him. Um, so I got those. They are for us for dinner tonight. We're going out to my mum's for nachos. What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. So I want to make apricot chicken. So I also got like a kilo of chicken thighs. Um, so I ordered that from Woolies. They didn't have it in stock. So they replaced it with satay chicken. And I was like, lol, imagine if you're allergic to peanuts. <laughs> anyway, so we'll use that another time. And then I also got beef strog because I usually make a chicken strog. Um, so they're just some meal bases. I mean, look, that's kind of a blessing in disguise because I've got some chicken I can use as well. So another extra meal for the freezer. Um, fruit and veg will do last. So we've got, this was on special this week. So I'll do like a creamy pasta or something. Um, I ordered two of those and they gave me a random plain chocolate one, which is fine because I don't not like it. But normally they tell you when they swap things and they didn't. It just was in there. Two liters of lactose free milk. Same as this. I ordered the pork ribs. They gave us shoulder instead, but it said on there that they swapped it. But that's fine. Something different. Um, steak. We really wanted steak this week. Kilo of chicken thighs. So I'll do apricot chicken. Um, we got a new juice this week. We got apple and guava because I loved this as a kid. So did Jake. And we found that they did a big three liter at Coles. So that's amazing. Um, cheese. We get the big bag of cheese. Don sticks were on special for a dollar. Baby Bell was on special at Coles. I get the extra protein ones. Again, um, butter for baking. Jacob's yogurts. Artie's yogurts. I got this for me to try. It's literally $4 normal price at Coles. Um, and it looks really good. I don't really care that it's fat free. Um, but like sugar's 12.8 grams per 100. So I was like, okay, that looks nice. We'll try it. Kind of reminded me a bit of mochi. So I don't know why. Anyway, um, these, I tried the lemon version last time they came out and they're on special. So I figured that can be our little treat for this week. Sour cream for our nachos. Now I didn't get as many bread products as I normally do because we were doing an early shop. The bakery wasn't sort of ready yet. So I'll go over the weekend and get fresh bread for next week. But crumpets were on special and muffins. Jake makes bacon and egg muffins for breakfast, takes them to work. We got bananas, apples, pears, a rogue kiwi fruit, um, broccoli because we eat a lot of broccoli at the moment, corn, sweet potato, carrots, um, strawberries. Obviously, we're getting less and less because they're almost $5 a punnet again. Um, tomatoes and mushrooms for our strog. Um, and I think that's it. So, look, not bad for $350 considering we had to get a lot of like that sort of stuff. But, you know, we've topped up on bigger things as well. And we've got plenty. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you the cereals. So we got the big box of Wheat Bix because we eat that a lot. So that'll last us probably a good month or so. Um, I'm liking these at the moment. They were half price. Jake, granola for his yogurt. That's the brand we get. We normally get the toasted muesli, but these are new and they're on special. So I was like, let's try that. And normally I always check... Yeah, again, 16.7, so not the worst. But again, I would normally aim for something that's slightly less sugar. Um, but it just means that he will put like less honey on it that day that he has this with it. And he'll still have it with fruit. Um, Cocoa Pops, because I can. They're amazing. And I love them with cold milk at night. <laughs> um, rolled oats, so I can make some Anzac biscuits. And then I will just put these in one of the pantry containers. And we can use them for baking. Or if we run out of our instant oats, um, we'll just blend them up and use them as well. So I think that's it. Oh yeah, shapes for lunch boxes, um, some bluey biscuits for Artie. Same thing. I had a look at these versus some of the other flavors, and these were the least amount of sugar, so 16.7. But again, like he wouldn't have this every day, and they're things that we put in like our bag to take out with us, so that like you know I can just give him something if we need it. Taco kit. I think that's it. I don't think I missed anything, but yeah, that is our grocery shop. So I'm going to now. Pack it all away, sort the fridge out, sort the pantry out, and then it's lunchtime. So 
I've given myself a lunch break. I still have some groceries to put away, but I'm starting to get a bit blech. So I've got leftovers from last night. I'm gonna have a look on my iPad, sort some stuff out, and um, I'm going to edit this vlog and get it posted up for the weekend. So thank you so, look, I literally just thought there was a child sitting there. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hello again to all my new friends. Um, if you have any questions about anything, please leave them below. I am an open book and um, I can't wait. I just said to Jake, back to school next week. I'm so excited. So can't wait for you to see my back to school vlog and what we're up to. Anyway, take it easy. Bye. Hey, it's me.